welcome back. It is week 14 of the garden tour. Um, not much change from last week, at least not much going on. I've cleaned up the garden a little bit more. I've pulled some of the potatoes. Um, so I was able to, to do that, able to finish weeding. Finally pulled that spinach that I said I was going to pulp. But otherwise, everything's looking kind of the same. I'm hopeful I'm going to have sunflowers in the next day, but I don't really think that's going to happen. Um, let's take a look at everything. Okay, so here we have the caladiums looking the same. Waiting for the cosmos. I've used a couple branches here or there. A couple more glads. I've just kind of been cutting the glads, not even really waiting for them to open because they just turn dry and crispy and nothing I can actually use. So I'm going to chalk it up to a bad glad year and I'm going to hope for better next year because glads are really my favorite flower. So I'm really kind of disappointed that I didn't have good luck this year. Zinnias are all looking good. I need to come through and cut a bunch this morning. Um, same with this patch of zinnias here. And then my sunflowers. I think we're at the same place we were last week. So I think I have a couple more heads. Oh, look, a Japanese beetle. Shocker. I have a couple more heads forming up, but like that was the one that started. And that one's just bigger, so it's just really sizing up. I don't think they're going to bloom quite yet. In other news, we have more blushing tomatoes, and I think I have a couple that are very much ready to be picked, which is good, because I'm going to take them with me and have delicious tomatoes. A lot of this, these ones I never had ripen for me last year. And I don't know if it was just like long day or what. I think they'll ripen this year. Which I'm excited about because, I don't know, I'm not in love with the plants. I'm hoping the tomatoes are really good. Otherwise, I might not do those next year. Um, I have tons of cherry tomatoes. Lots of those. We'll go check down here. Pull some of these out of my way. So I've had a lot of, like, branches dying off on the cherry tomato, or on my, well, on this cherry tomato specifically. But on this, these tomatoes, I'm noticing it too. It's like the whole top of the plant died there. Well, not the whole top. Just that whole branch. But I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it just got dry or if it snapped or what. But it's just some of the plants. I think these are all the striped Germans. These two. These three. Probably. Because that one's starting to blush. And the striped Germans seem to get cat face a lot easier than any of the other ones. But, like, this one's, I mean, I don't, I should probably pull that off and see if it'll ripen on the inside. Cause that one's very, uh, very much on a dead branch. So I don't know how well that's going to do. Cosmos are still going crazy. Ooh, hummingbird. Ran away. The hummingbirds have been in here like crazy. I think this is their new favorite spot. So we're going to back out of there because everything's all dew covered. And it's very wet. No. Let's see if the hummingbird will come back. I've got pulled the kurabi. Especially those plants that didn't get anything on them. I don't, know, I don't know if they didn't like the soil or what. I have one little kurabi left. Really just fed the other ones to the chickens because I still haven't looked up how to cook them. Sometimes you just don't have time. Onions are starting to size up. So another month or so they'll probably be ready for me. I have glads coming here. But see like they instantly look dry. And these are brand new in a whole different spot from the other ones. So I don't know what's going on. They should not be getting brown around the edges like that. This one hasn't even opened up and it's already dry. So I don't think it's thrips. I don't know if it's water. I don't know if it's lack of something in the soil. Not sure. 
beets, garlic that I think is finally ready to be pulled, snapdragon. So here's one of the chores that I was able to get done this week. I was able to come through and clean up all the snapdragons. So anything that's left in here should be a usable stem that I plan to cut and take uh, because I have an event tomorrow to do a bunch of bouquets for. So I hope to take at least 10 bouquets and sell those. We'll see if I sell out. We'll see if I have a whole bunch left over. Uh, Gonfrina, I should be able to take some of that. The white Gonfrina starting to take off some, but I think everything's still not ready because Gonfrina, you have to check if it's kind of floppy. And this is still kind of floppy. Um... See Holly. I don't know what to tell you there. Still kind of waiting to see what it does. It should color up to be more blue. So that's what I'm waiting to see. And I don't know if when it does that if it branches out more. So then I instead of having just one stalk to cut off of, I can cut some of the lower branches. But I don't know. Celosia, Celosia is very much happy and ready to be cut for some filler basil purple basil is looking good again i don't know what what makes basil happy so i guess i should look into that and learn uh, lemon basil is looking pretty good yarrow sage the beans are done they need to be clipped and pulled then i have my potatoes that I, they should all be dying back here in the next week or two, and then it'll be time to pull them. And while they're still green like this, the, the potatoes are still sizing up. It's been almost a month, I think, since it started flowering. So potato-wise, you can pull the potatoes from underneath them. Um, some people come out and just dig a couple to go with dinner if they're going to make potatoes that day. So then they have them. That down there on the end, I pulled... The Yukon Golds, because those plants were completely dead. And I'd say for, I don't know, a pound, maybe two pounds worth of potatoes that I put in the ground, I got about seven pounds out of it, which is awesome. So excited for that. Celery's still looking wicked abundant. Oh, I have one of those melon plants. I don't like those plants. I don't think there's really anything wrong with them, but they, they freak me out. I don't like them. Um, I don't have a use for them. I have them as weeds all over the place, so I don't need to keep one in my garden for anything. Cabbage. I pulled some of the worst-looking cabbage. Fed that to the chickens. Got rid of that spinach. Kale's looking good. This is the problem I'm having with cucumbers. One day... They look like the tiny little baby cucumber that is not ready to be picked. And then the next day, they're, they're, I don't know, it's like they explode from the inside. So I do not know, I'm assuming it's the heat. Because it was so hot and so humid. You know, we, we had a slow start, so the plants didn't take off. And then it got so hot, so humid, so fast, that they're just kind of like, not good. So I don't know what to don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna wait and see. Maybe if it cools off just a little, then the plant will come around and give me good cucumbers. Carrots. See like here's a nice looking cucumber and I haven't had I have not had a fruit off this side yet. So we'll see if this one sizes up nicely or if it turns into a monster. But like the ones on the other side aren't even getting that size before they explode. So, not sure. Came through and picked all the zucchini and the squash. So I should really blanch that. I have one little zucchini down there. See? Um, definitely have not had a, as a productive year when it comes to my squash and my cucumbers. Normally, I'm kind of overrun by them, don't know what to do with them. And this year, I've barely had any, quite honestly. Um, and it's funny. You know, I told myself I'm only going to plant, you know, a 
handful of plants for them because I'm so overrun. And this year I have like none. And I'm like, huh, that's uh, convenient. I'm not going to give up on the idea that I don't need as many plants though because I just don't need as many plants. I think I just need a better year. I think it's the year. Yarrow on this side's looking good. This plant with the white's really taken off, so excited to cut that. Everything's looking good. Thought I saw the hummingbird come back for the snapdragons. Mm. Don't see him now. So that's everything that's going on this week. I'm excited. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a harvest video um, and put together my bouquets. And then I'll see if I'm able to get a couple snips from the event that I'm going to. I'm going to a cruise in at the local winery. Um, and there's usually some vendors that set up there. So I figured I would do that. And maybe any of the guys that come to look at cars will take their wife home flowers. Maybe if their wife comes along, they'll be like, ooh, look, you should get me flowers. Because flowers and wine, who doesn't love flowers and wine? Um, but yeah, that's my plan. So we'll see how everything keeps trucking along. I don't know how the snapdragons, if they will send up another flush of blooms. I'm hoping now that I went through and cleaned off the old stuff. I know the zinnias will keep going. And we'll see if I get any sunflowers. Um, still really disappointed about the glads, but you win some, you lose some. What can I say? We'll try again next year and hopefully it's better. So, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will see you next week for another garden tour. And hopefully have something up for my big harvest and event.